Good morning, YouTube. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. For today's adventure, we're going to uh, step out of my realm. We're going to install an ice maker. Hopefully it goes smooth. If not, I'll decide I'll never do an ice maker again. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. We're about to hit 2,000 subs, and I really thank you. And I got the young gunner with me today. Anything? Let's get her done. Get her done. Okay. So we'll see you at the job and uh, see how it goes. Okay. We have a Maytag. I actually hooked this ice maker up, I don't know, three to four months ago, and it kept filling up. So now he purchased a new ice maker replacement and volunteered me to install it. So we're gonna give it a go and see what we can do. Here's the box. And of course, it's opened already. I love open boxes. What do you feel about open boxes out there? That was my head. That was my face. I just see your face. Give me some. All right, right there. Now it's just... Can you unplug it? Yeah, unplug it. As per instructions. Ouch. How'd y'all about? Huh? Funny, huh? Funny. One, two. Give me the five inch. Okay. As per paperwork, it looks like. Oh, I need a quarter, Angelo. Hmm? I managed to go top. One. Oh. Did it? Yeah. Oh, we don't need a mirror. I went to night school. <laughs> there we go. No mirror needed. That should slide up and take oh, this screw out right here, which is a quarter, which I thought was a five. This one comes all the way out. It should pop right up. There goes a wire harness. It's unplugged, right? Yeah. Safety first. Ice maker. Oh, we don't want to break nothing in the back. Undo this here and boom. So far, so good. It looks identical. Let's check the harness. I'm feeling good. We're going to get lucky? I'm always getting lucky. Alright, so we're going to plug this right in. Yeah, it looks good. Let's see if it works. Oh, bang, gone. Now, how's this? How's this gizmo work? Why is it? I put that little clear pipe. Oh, there it goes. I was pushing it up to us. Oh, what's this? Oh, this comes with the bracket on it. All right, so we're gonna take the bracket off. We did it. We did it the other way. It kept filling up. It wouldn't shut off, and it wouldn't make ice. It just filled up the ice tray with water. <laughs> yep. He finds that funny. Far so good. Okay. Here we go. Let's find this. Boom. And a boom. Where's 
a little switch at. You kind of want a wire? Do we, we gotta use the old wire? Alright, so they want you to use the old wire. is off. No, I have a valve in the ceiling here. Can you reach it? Uh, can I reach it? There it is. What's that for? It's for the ice maker line. That I put in, I put this in like four months ago. Uh, just address it now. You want to put it back in? Yep. running you see what we got here right all right turn it back on I don't understand why this is doing this why is it not making a place and just pours water right through it Shut it off. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the XGR. I'm gonna call tech support because I can't come here and do this again. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, now I'm back here trying to find the model number off of this thing. And now I know why I don't install ice makers. Okay, because I'm not an appliance guy, I'm a plumber, but I'm trying to find the model number. Oh here we go, it's a Maytag. Take a picture of this so we can read it and I'm hoping I can get a phone number off of it. Right in there. Situation is this. We're bailing out on this. We're going to call, he's going to call an appliance company. 